uh, let's take a look at major thirds and minor thirds. So I'm going to start in the key of C, the key where there are no sharps, no flats. And I'm looking at the first three notes, C, D, and E. C, D, E. And the first three notes of the key of C major, um, from one note to the next, uh, you measure it in intervals. So it's from C to D is a whole step, and then from D to E is a whole step. So what you have here is a whole step and a whole step, a whole step from C to D and a whole step from D to E, okay? So that's important because when I play this interval of a third now from C to E, I know that it's made up of two whole steps. Now, let me go back and explain that the distance between any two notes that are exactly next to each other, adjacent to each other, is a half step. So C to C sharp or D flat is a half step. And then C sharp, D flat to D natural is another half step. So that's where you get this, uh, that's where it totals up to be a whole step. And then from D to E, is made up of a half step and another half step. So when I start now on the note C and I go from C to D, I'm actually counting the notes numerically as C being one and D being two. So if I play those two notes together, that's considered a second. Another way to think of a, a second or a third, a fourth, a fifth is by letter name. So you can always say C to D is a second, C to E, one, two, three is a third. Okay, so there's my third. And like I said, we're dealing with thirds and that's the quantity. And then the quality is a third is either major or minor. So two whole steps is equal to a major third. Now, how do I know what a minor third is? I would have to go from C to E because the letter names tell me the quantity. And then the quality would be that instead of playing the knee natural, I go a half step down to an E flat. So now I have the quality as minor. Quantity is a third, quality is minor. All right, so um, it'll be more self-explanatory as I show you uh, these thirds in different keys. So C major, looking at the root note C and moving up a third, that is major or major third and C to, C to E and then C to E flat minor third. Okay, so now let me move over here to the key of F major, which is F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. The first three notes starting on the root is F. It, the third is A. So if I play um, the interval of a third starting on F, F A, I can see that it's two whole steps. So there's my major third, okay? If I go to A flat, F to A flat, it's a minor third, okay? now. Like I said, as I'm moving through the different keys, um, there's different explanations that'll help you to further understand it. So what I wanna show you now is it's exactly one and a half steps, a whole step plus a half step. So that's another way to identify 
and confirm that it is uh, a minor third. Two whole steps, major third, uh, one and a half steps, minor third. Okay, let me go to B flat major. Okay, so B flat, okay, so now I'm gonna say, okay, let me, let me take a step away from the keyboard and just uh, think about the letter names. B flat, C, D. Letter name B, letter name C, letter name D, there's my third. So, and then I also know in the key of B flat that B is flat and D is natural. So another thing I want to point out is that if you stay in the major key and you start on the root note and you go to the third, it's automatically going to be major. Uh, that is the first way to identify that you're in a major key. So B flat and D, there's my major third. B flat to D flat, there's my minor third. Okay, so another thing I want to say here is that the note is actually flatted, um, so that means it's outside of the key. But if you were to see this on uh, the staff notated, then the key signature would say in the key of B flat that B is flat and E is flat. So then you'd have to write the flat symbol in front of the D to notate that it's flat. Okay, so. In B flat major, here's your major third, minor third. Okay. 